welcome to Sue Noon. I'm Sally. I'm Jonathan. Nice to have you here. So we are Sue Noon, a very small hat brand in Stockholm. We started 2021 together. We met 2020 during the pandemic. Spending a lot of time at home gave us also time to think and develop different projects. And this was one of our passion projects. I was working and still working within marketing and teaching SEO, uh, social media, different kind of uh, marketing stuff. And you have been in the fashion business for a long time. Yes, for uh, many years I've uh, been working as a graphic designer. Passion for hats was something that always was with me during that time. It took me to a place during the pandemic where I was working from home, I was doing freelance. You were also from the freelance world and we when we met it was something that clicked immediately of how to create projects and how to brand something, how to come up with a concept of, of something that we really truly believe in. On our first date we wanted to do something of a... <laughs> <laughs> we made our own scented candles. <coughs> scented candles. And it actually, like, yeah. I think I destroyed two pots. There was a one candle that stood out with the old coffee. Well, actually, I, I killed the idea of the scented candles and yeah, the Sandra was, was pretty disappointed. <laughs> when I first started uh, with, with the hat making, it was actually a kind of a coincidence that a hat studio was located where I was living here in Missoma Council. When I knocked on the door, this uh, woman, Shastin, she told me that, uh, yes, so I, I do hat courses. You can actually sign up for that. I was like, okay, yes, I'll do that immediately. And then over a period of, of time, I, uh, I learned the craft of, of hat making. So she, she really taught me how to work with the materials and uh, have the different techniques of, of sewing. So it really evolved and I made my first hat in that studio. It's amazing for me to, to walk in here every day and see that, okay, I've made these, these creations, I've made these hats. modistutbildningen. Just det. Och då så för mig är det precis damhattar. Precis. Allt är ju handsytt och det är både dam och här. Men mm. det är mer inriktning på damhattar också. Just det. Jag har varit, har jag fått beställning på här hattar och jag har ju liksom lite härblock och ja, har ja. ännu några härblock till. Alltså, ännu fler. Så Kör, äh, jag ska jag kolla på. Hur kom det sig att du började med hatt? Ja, Eller modist, jag ska säga banan. mamma och mormors förtjänst. Ja, det var så. Ja. Mm. Så ja. jag fick följa med. Det här liksom var ju mitt För de jobbade med det? Eller? Nej, Nej. mamma var textillärare. Mm. Men de hade ju haft det Men på 60-talet, titta på gamla ja, journalfilmer. Alla, alla har ju haft ja. Har du gjort dem här? Ja, jag jobbar till eh, Värmlandsoperan. Så de här ligger på torken nu. Jag har inte kommit så långt. Jag har bara skrapat på ytan hela tiden. Jag, vi har ju liksom tagit en sån här och kunnat göra det här. Men det finns ju så mycket mer du kan göra. Precis, och det här är ju de här små kittlande utmaningarna som mm. man behöver. Här, jag har aldrig hållit på att skulptrera. Så, men, men man får prova. Den där ja. är tunnare. Mm. Du var ju verkligen... Ja, jag, var ja, jag vill ha en. Hur många gram är det? Ja. Och jag har liksom inte jobbat i gram. Nej. Den här är ju gjord i velour. En enkel damhatt, en klors 20-talet. Så när du börjar gå här, Jonathan, ja. du satte ju... Verkligen en prick på kartan, för efter dig så har det kommit jättemånga killar. Ja, vad roligt. Alltså, det, det känns ju kul att kunna Först att <laughs> sätta det lite är, trenderna. är en yngre årsgrupp som ja. kommer, det är inte bara tanter i min ålder, mm. utan det är yngre personer ja. och det är många killar. Det var ju det som var så roligt när jag kom hit, att få sitta här och dricka kaffe och, det, det, och det, äta kakor. Och, och, det, och det, var, det var så himla härlig stämning, det var, det ja. var så här... Ja, det men det, det, jag, såg, jag, men jag såg fram så mycket att få komma hit, dels för att skapa och lära mig, men också att bara hänga här och, och vi kunde dela stories och det var liksom, det, ja. var, alltså det var jättekul, det var bra Tycker jag häng. Riktigt. Ja. Nej men alltså till stockarna för att det här, jag har ju samlat i 30, 40, 50 år, så att så här många stockar behöver man inte. För många av stockarna är ju gamla, de är ju liksom från 40, 50, 60-talet. Så 
this is uh, actually my second hat that I made uh, at the hat course. Quite funny with the asymmetric crown here. I was constantly thinking about what would the name be of, of, uh, of a hat brand and uh, at first I was very focused on just naming it my, something around my name and Kopilov and it said Kopilov hats and I, I was, it was never a good gut feeling and I, and I read a, a, an article that Virgil Abloh was talking about branding or naming your brand and one of the first points was something that the most boring thing is to use your own name. And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, so that's not gonna work. Uh, and then we made tons of, of, of just like lists of just names or words. A lot of have, Latin names. Yeah, Latin <laughs> names, and it was yeah. circular around uh, sunshine, sunshine, universe. Was, yeah, universe. We met in the universe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's oh, a obviously. <laughs> we love music, and that's one one of the many things that that mm. that we had in common. We used to send each other playlists at the very beginning of our relationship. Uh, we still do actually. I saw an, an old place that I named Sue Noon, and then it just clicked to me, and it, it, I just felt that that would be the name that would really fit the hats. Just managed to to, to pour out every single idea around that, uh, and and Sue Noon had so many meanings that that could be linked to hat and hat brand and what we wanted to do with it. So after that point, I think it took three or. A maximum of three weeks before we actually were live with our uh, Squarespace site. For us now, we're still working full time with other things yes, yes. to finance our project, our passion project. Yeah, this is definitely something that that we do, we do in on, on evenings and mm. weekends. In our team, you're the hat maker, and I run basically like everything else. You run the business <laughs> of it, yeah, the business side, but also the, the marketing side, the, the content building, uh, all of that. And, and you've done an amazing job on the website as well. Yeah. I that. learned how to code through tutorials. I can just recommend yeah. <laughs> CSS is not my strong yeah. side, but uh, it works. The future of Sunoon uh, would be to develop further the actual hat making of making hats. We, we want to be uh, the best at making handmade hats here in, in Sweden and in Stockholm. And, and in the Nordic in countries. In the Nordic countries, yeah. yes. Uh, and be able to offer our, our customers a, a truly handmade product that we put down a lot of love and passion into. Mm -hmm. uh, and also give the, the customer the possibility to customize if they want to do that. But we, we develop our own range of, of products that we, we offer. So it should be easy for a person to find a hat. So we don't want to be this classic heterosexual, super traditional brown hat brand. We want to be something different. These uh, leather bands come from Spain, from Valencia. And uh, we had them branded with our logo here and actually the, the Stockholm part to really make sure that people know that we make it here in Sweden. We developed some uh, tie-dye hats uh, as a limited edition uh, capsule. This one is the cowboy version and uh, has a green and white color to it, which is really nice. I believe someday we'll have a store somewhere in Spain because I don't like cold, <laughs> even though I live here with you now. But you have been able to live off the brand. That would be a goal, of course. This hat was uh, featured in Vogue and actually a custom order from the stylist for uh, the first ever, actually, Vogue Scandinavian issue in August 2021. No, 2022. <laughs> we tried to decorate the studio with inspiration from our heritage and our love for sunshine and beautiful cactuses. <laughs> no, but seriously, like the ocean and, and sunny places. This studio space used to be an old grocery store. Grocery store. So you see like these tiles, maybe this was the veggie section or fruit section. This is an original. Stamp. <laughs> so we have stored it different details for the hat making. For example, velvet bands that we can decorate the hats with. We just also recently started doing hat courses. So people who come to the course can choose their own preferred details. This cabinet is full of magic. Hey, Matthew! <laughs> <laughs> this is Matthew, our friend. Actually, your friend. Yeah. How did you? I was actually talking about Matthew uh, before. 
how we used to walk around here and uh, yeah. have, have a look at different uh, studio spaces. And we were actually looking at this one. Remember that? Exactly. And we were talking so about one like, day, one day in this creative some, space. Mm, yeah. It'll be a it'll mid, mid, midsummer friends will actually have something. And yeah. now we finally have a hat. Maker. And you're wearing your own custom made. Yeah. And, yeah. This, and this is not a paid sponsorship at all. This is. Just <laughs> <laughs> you were our first ever student model. Oh yes. yes, that is right. Sure. Back in the days, and like, <laughs> when was that? Two years ago. Two, a decade ago? No. No. <laughs> yeah. no, I remember that. That was amazing. Jonathan was able to customize my hat, and what was great is that I love. I lose things all the time, so I'll never lose my hat. I just flip it back, boom, and then not to mention I just love this vibe. You just get inspired by all the hats and then also the music. You guys have the best taste in music. So it was like just <laughs> chilling. We I sat down, had a coffee, and then we went through mm -hmm. and picked a chord. And I don't know. It was nice. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah. I hope to hear from you in our DM on Instagram. Make sure to follow us here on YouTube and Instagram. It's very important to see these stuff yeah. in the YouTube. Should we point here? Yeah. Like here, 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 everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much. Thank you.